guys welcome back to my channel my name is Manuela if you're new here thank you for stopping by I haven't vlogged in ages so it feels so weird being back I haven't felt like myself but I'm slowly making the changes to come back on YouTube and share my journey with you guys so today I'm going to the mirrors like exhibition in London it's basically infinity mirrors I've seen this all over TikTok obviously the makeup is on fleek because the photos are gonna come out looking sweet Ooh, rhyme for me rhyme for me there were two different light installations in the same exhibition. The first one was called The Chandelier of Grief and we went in and it was absolutely beautiful. You will see the footage, it's unreal. Like, the second installation had like water on the outside but that one had little light tubes hanging down and the colours would change every like three seconds. There was like green, red, purple. And then when we got out of the installation, we could see all of Kasama's work so that was beautifully portrayed for everyone to see but I would definitely recommend you guys going it's located in the Tate Modern and it's absolutely beautiful Good morning guys, good morning I literally just woke up, I'm literally gonna get ready for the day Is it gonna spin or what? So I typically wake up and do my morning thoughts in this journal here it has very cute quotes in it and affirmations that you can read as well my mind is very blank this morning i feel well rested and i'm glad that i have taken the time to check in with myself and how i'm feeling today and then in the evening i'll write down my evening reflections and what i'm grateful for i obviously also have my diary that you guys have seen in my past videos i think i showed you guys this in my morning routine one day this is where like I'll write down all my thoughts. So right now I'm reading How to Win Friends and Influence People. I love this book. It gives a lot of real life examples and a lot of practical tips and insights into conversations. And all of that is like a, the perfect book for me in terms of non-fiction books. There's a lot of things I've been highlighting. I genuinely look forward to reading it. I haven't really been sticking to my skincare routine as much as I used to in the past. So I want to change that because I feel like it really has a good um, impact on my day like I feel like when my skin is shining and glowing I'm like I'm ready to take on the day I have been learning to be patient with myself and treat myself with more self-care and love and with that comes compassion and also learning when it's time to take a break and retreat from the rest of the world so I just had my shower and I feel rejuvenated like honestly i feel like a new woman i feel like on a day-to-day -day basis i've got a lot of things to catch up on i have literally tried to make my week as fun as possible every monday i'll try and do music so i've called it music monday organizing co-writing sessions with the musicians and songwriters tuesday is treat tuesday so on my wall it says like self-care get my hair done water my plants and that'll be an evening focused on treating myself working wednesday i'll catch up on my freelance work editing youtube videos scouting modeling jobs therapeutic thursday is when i'll try and delve into a hobby so this could be like either reading a book listening to podcasts and painting what else did i put on there just reflecting on my week really and like oiling my hair fun friday anything i class as fun i'll do that so that's social saturdays and this is when i'll intentionally make time to catch up with friends and family serene sunday so this is when i'm intentionally very peaceful if you're going to incorporate this into your life see what works best for you i said music monday because i'm a musician if you don't do music this might not be relevant for you you can have maintenance monday so it can be random stuff around your house that you just haven't had time to fix maintaining yourself so it could be like doing your nails changing your bedding or painting a room i don't know before i'd be like okay today's monday i'm gonna work on modeling stuff music stuff edit youtube video record a song it was too much all over the place whereas i feel like having one overall theme for the day it really helps me to focus my energy on one thing and i feel like my work is more effective that way and if it's a case where it's treat tuesday and i'm thinking about working wednesday i'll be like girl today's treat tuesday treat yourself or deal with work when it comes to tomorrow you know hi guys so i have arrived at the photo shoot location so this is what the studio looks like I'm here until six. It's a really big studio, this is the OTD. I'm wearing this green blazer from Topshop. Then I'm wearing this light green blouse, some black trousers and some boots also, but I think I'm gonna make myself a little cup of tea later because I'm on my period. So I have the worst cramps. It's day one as well. Super excited to be here. I basically found a photographer Arthur through an app called The Dots. It's a new app that allows creatives to collaborate. So as a model, you can collaborate with photographers, stylists, makeup artists, and yeah, I'm excited. It's nice to meet new people. It's a bit nerve-wracking, but I'm excited. I'm gonna be styled. 
Oh, no, it's okay. <laughs> I need a little vlogging camera. I do YouTube as well. This is the first outfit. Black crop top. These very cool jeans. Some white air forces and a black jacket.